Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to send email on Webflow form submission. So here my objective is every time I receive a new lead through form submission, which is Webflow. Here you can take any other form builder application as well. So the moment I receive this new response, then automatically I want to send an email to the person welcoming him on board. Now to do this, we'll have to set up some integration between Webflow and Gmail and we can do the same using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger will be Webflow and my action application will be Gmail. Now to understand how you can do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process, let's begin. This here is a dashboard of Pabli Connect software and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in and if you are a new user, sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, once you reach the dashboard on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Click on this. This dialog box will appear and here you will have to name your workflow. You can give any random name. I'm going to name it as per my objective, which is to send email on Webflow form submission. So I'm going to click on create. And as I do that here, you can see we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action here says do this. Basically, action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you get a response of the amount debited on SMS or message or WhatsApp. How does that happen with the help of automation? And in such a case, your trigger will be the payment gateway and your action application will be any application with the help of which you can send these messages. Now let's come to our use case and here our trigger will be Webflow form submissions. So here it is. Now the trigger event. So the trigger event here will be new form submission. So as we do that here, you can see we have received this webhook URL, which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Webflow and Pabli Connect. I'm going to copy this. Once this is copied, we have to follow the following help text given. Please read this carefully. Now let me show you exactly what you have to do. So this is my Webflow account. Here we have to go to dashboard. Now here you can see I have got two forms. So I'm going to go ahead with this form. Here we have to click on the three dots. Then let's go to settings. Within settings, we have to go to integrations. Now within integration, as I scroll down here, we have webhooks. I'm going to click on add webhook. Here we have to select the type. So it is form submission. And now here I have to paste the webhook URL. Now here I'm going to click on add webhook. So once this is done, going back to Pabli Connect. So here it is waiting for webhook response. So what we have to do is we have to log into the application. So we have already done that. Now we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Basically, we have to fill up the form. So I'm going to take you back to Webflow. So let's go back to dashboard. This here is the form. Now I'm going to click on this link and let's go to the forms. Now this here is the form right in front of us. I'm going to fill this up. So let's say here the name is dummy new 123. The email address is dummy new 123 at pablitudes.com. This here is the mobile number. Let's say the name of the company is Pabli Connect. Address is random street. Here I'm going to write random city. Now I'm going to click on submit. As soon as I do that here, we can see that our form has been submitted. Taking you back to Pabli Connect here, we have received the response. So this here is the name of the form. Here we have got the address, name, mobile number. Then again, we have got the name of the company, city, and here we have the email address of the person. So once we have received these details, what do I want? This person who has just filled up the form, I want to send an email to the person. So I'm going to select my action application as Gmail. Let's click on this. Then the action event here will be to send email. Let's click on connect. As we do that here, Public Connect wants to connect with the Gmail account. Let's select add new connection, connect with Gmail. As I do that here, we have to choose an account. So I have chosen the account with which this particular mail ID has been associated. Pabli Connect now wants to access my Google account. This is absolutely secure. I have clicked on allow. And as I do that here, you can see that the authorization has been successful. 
Now once Gmail and Pabli Connect are connected, here we have to fill in this information. First of all, we need the recipient's email address. Now we are not going to write this manually. As I click on this, you can see the previous step. Click on this. Now this here is the email address. This method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time your workflow runs in real time with some new information, it can take that into consideration. Had I written the same information manually, then even when I had received a new response with new email address, it wouldn't have taken that. So to avoid that, we map the information. Next we have the sender's name. So the sender's name I'm going to write Pabli connect pably connect next we have the email subject so i'm going to write welcome on board so let's say it's a new lead now as i take you down the email content type is plain next we have the email content so i'm going to write dear now i'm going to map the name of the person dear dummy new one two three then i have written thank you for the registration you can now stay updated with the recent product launches integrations and automations in case of any query please connect at www.pabli.com regards so this is my email content now if you have any specific file to be shared you can enter the file name here and the attachment url is to be entered here now I'm going to click on save and send test request and as I do that here we have received the response according to which now this mail must be shared with the user. Let's go and check the same. So this here is the email address. I'm going to quickly refresh this page and here you can see we have received this email. So this basically means that our integration is a success. Let's check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to Webflow and here I'm going to open this form once again. Let's enter the information. Let's say the name is strange user. This here is the email address. Then we have the mobile number. The name of the company is ABC Limited. Then we have the street. So I'm going to write random city for address. Let's click on submit. Now, as soon as this form has been submitted, what should happen automatically? A mail should be received by the user. Let's go and check the same. So here I'm going to take you back to inbox and first I'm going to refresh this page and we can see we have received another mail. So this means our integration is a complete success. Taking you back to Pabli Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger was Webflow where the event was new form submission. Then our action application was Gmail where the event was to send email. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.